Hey guys, good morning. I would like to share the entire Docker Master and Brian course on my YouTube channel, guys. Like whoever following from till now, and there is a couple of breaks in the course, right? Like you know, I have uploaded the main main uh, concepts. So I would like to uh, share from basic to advanced a uh, Docker course from this channel. Okay, and uh, I would like to share the content also first initially like you guys can be go through this content and understand like what we're going to learn in this course content. So first, uh, I'm going to divide into multiple uh, module in this course. And first, I'm going to introduce introduce introduction to Docker. Like in this module, we're going to learn about what is the containerization, what is the difference between the virtual machine and Docker and how was the before uh docker in the industry or what are the technologies they are going to be using like what is the real uh picture for the monolithic application and microservice applications all those introduction we can talk about and then we we'll discuss about advantages of docker and we're going to talk about the understanding docker architecture and next we're going to talk about the all basic docker commands which we're going to used in day-to-day -day activities like yes you know docker search pull images done exec commit ps stack and logs rm rmi kill stop start login push and much more okay and it's in-depth um you know explanation of about all these comments we're going to talk about this and next we're going to talk about the docker file essentials in the docker file essentials mostly we're going to talk about the our real use case of docker files and how do you write a docker files from where we need to start the docker files and docker file instructions and docker file optimization uh, techniques all those we're going to talk about this and in this part of like you know we're going to talk about the docker var file deployment uh, and there is a different docker file instructions like work directory expose um, and these are uh, two commands i'm going to talk about the initial about to this when we deploy the var files and we're going to talk about the labels add copy and there is a one dedicated session for run CMD entry point uh, differences and health check and on build and DNV argument. And um, and we're gonna talk about the very important uh, interview perspective question they were asking like, right? CMD entry point and add and copy. I'm gonna discuss in depth on that. So multiple scenario based where exactly we're gonna use add, very good that we're gonna use copy. So next, we're gonna talk about the like next module four and managing data with the doctor docker and then you know and how we're going to use this uh you know docker volumes without volumes what are the uh, you know like as drawbacks we have so we're going to talk about the introduction about the docker private repositories and we're going to talk about the docker nexus with repository and amazon ecr integration all those we're going to like and uh, we're going to use docker hub there is a four repositories i'm not talking about this docker ASD, uh module and next we're going to talk about Docker networking and understand the Docker networking, how many types of Docker networkings we have and like creating a custom network, all those things we're going to talk about this. And next we're going to talk about that, uh, the, some kind of a simple, uh, mission test when you go for an interview, they're going to give the small sample mission text examples, right? So that kind of application, we're going to do this and Java application with Postgres database integration, like sim similar, the one we are going to use day to day activities in real time. So next, a uh, Docker rising uh, with WordPress and MySQL, uh, and you know this is a deprecated option, my friend, friendly. So like you know how we used previously, like you know how we can talk to each other these containers and all. We're gonna use this option. Still, it is working, and it's a deprecated option. So next, we're gonna talk about that. Uh, we're gonna implement the load balancer with Nginx and using uh, you know creating some domain with SSL and integrate with the Route 53. Then how we work end to end our website with ssl and next we're going to talk about the like the most important thing like which we're going to use in uh, our real time and our day-to-day -day activities comes under the picture here like uh, module 8 it is and then jenkins integration with docker we're going to create our custom uh, docker file with uh, you know base image of uh, jenkins and we're going to write install like you know what are the dependencies we require like aws cli and the gig pav and some dependencies on on it in the docker file and then we're going to build that image and we're going to use that same image to run our jenkins i'm going to use some advanced option like iphone restart always on failure about this uh 
you know in the docker run command and next we'll integrate with the freestyle with docker hub and then you know freestyle with maven project maven docker easier integration and next we're going to talk about the same similar projects with the pipeline code which we're going to use that and next there is advanced concept like as multi-configuration jobs and seed jobs and share library okay this is the when we are having a hundreds of microservices in your organization and you are maintaining a like as a multiple jenkins files right like if you want to add a new stage in the jenkins file you have to be change all the hundred microservice jenkins file instead of that how do we use a share library effectively okay so i'm going to talk with the real example or real scenario of the share library of this concept and next we're going to talk about the docker compose and introduction about docker compose and we're going to deploy one uh, Redis and a uh, flask uh, job, python based application and we can you know see that you know what is the impact of the docker compose and rather than the docker and we're going to finally we're going to talk about the docker interview questions and we're going to see that what are the questions they're going to ask you in the interview perspective on the docker post and i'm sure especially for entire docker you will be beyond the course you can learn anywhere else you can find and uh, this is a kind of a pro of docker course you can learn easily from very basic to advanced level please uh, you know share with your friends who are learning with the docker and uh, like i'm going to share a couple of uh, courses are coming uh, weeks let's say helm uh, argo cd and kubernetes and advanced like as Prometheus and Grafana as well. And we have uh, Ansible course and then we have uh, Jenkins, everything end to end courses. I'm going to try to upload in YouTube. I like this course content. I'm going to explain first. I'm going to add the multiple videos on the same playlist and you guys can be getting the Docker Pro course. So please uh, share with your friends and subscribe to uh, this channel and you know, see you on in the course. Bye guys.